Hey, it's Charles Godet here. Now, according to Chet Holmes, only 3% of your market are ready to buy right now. 6 to 7%, they're open to it. 30% aren't even thinking about it. 30% don't think they're interested. And the remaining 30%, they know they're not interested. So most salespeople stop at the top 3% that are ready to buy now, but that leaves 67% of the market untouched. That's a huge opportunity that's being wasted. So we'll talk about this more in today's video. So let me illustrate today's point with a little story. This past weekend, my family and I were in Kennebunkport, a, a cute little town on the seacoast of Maine. Now, as a way to kill time before dinner, we walked around the streets, kind of popping in and out of stores. Now, we had no real agenda other than our dinner reservations, and so no interest in really buying anything. Uh, so we ended up walking around different stores, and we stopped into one called the Mainly Drizzle. Now, the business owner, he shook my hand, introduced himself, and asked me a few questions about me and my family's interests. And he immediately established rapport. And we immediately liked him and through the conversation began to know him. Then he walked us over to his specialty olive oils and his balsamic vinegars and then offered to make uh, a few samples for the kids to try. Now, one at a time, my kids just love the combinations. Uh, he educated us on his products, why they were special and how to get the best result using his olive oil and vinegar. Now, an hour later, we turn around and we're buying four large bottles of special olive oil and vinegar and another smaller bottle, pepper flakes, and a few, a few other things as well. I went from not thinking that I was interested in buying anything to walking out of the store with an armful of product. And why? Because it started with getting my attention, keeping my attention, and then allowing me to try without asking for anything return as well as educating me on all the different uses and how to get the best result until I made the decision myself that I wanted it. You see, throughout this entire process, he never sold me, he never asked me to buy anything. He simply nurtured the relationship. And you can do the same thing too, by focusing in on the relationship and providing real value and education that highlights how your prospects lives or their businesses can be better with your product or service so that eventually they decide that they want to do business with you too and you could do this through content webinars strategy sessions white papers demos and more however don't just give them this stuff with selling as your top priority start with making sure your prospect is building a relationship with you or if your company is bigger building a relationship with your brand so that's today's tip. This is Charles Gaudet, and I will see you in another video.